First off, well done. I'm just glad that you're here and that you wanna try and commit to a workout routine. That's step one. The next step is committing to it. Now, maybe you've tried it before, it's too intimidating, you don't wanna go into the gym. Maybe you've uh, not seen results in the past, um, but that's okay. Now, I think that fitness and working out, it's commonly marketed to younger people. It's all about the vanity and the six pack abs and the big butt, right? But really, everyone can benefit from exercise. It's good for your mental health, if you have diabetes or high cholesterol, or high uh, triglycerides, all sorts of different things benefit from just routine workout. You're not trying to go for that sculpted beach bod or to land on the cover of a fitness magazine. You're just trying to be a healthier person. And committing to a workout routine, that's the way to do it and sticking with it. Now, not to brag, but I recently won an eight week transformation challenge. And I've been working out since I was about 16. I uh, played sports my whole life and um, it's always been a priority of mine to stay fit and active. But for everyone, that's not the default. And so today, I'm gonna share with you three tips how to commit to a workout routine, stick with it, and get the goals that you're after. Not anyone else is after, but the goals that are important to you, all right? Three tips, coming at you. All right, so tip number one, make it a routine. I know this may sound obvious, but making it a routine and sticking to it every day is the way to do it. Don't make it so difficult for yourself. Pick a time during the day that is most convenient for you. Whether it's before work, after work, or somewhere in between, find a time that works best for your schedule. Now, just like you routinely wind down at the end of the day with a little bit of Netflix, I want you to do the same thing with working out. Schedule it in your day. That way, you know every day from this time to this time, you're gonna be working out. <clears throat> Tip number two is to use the SMART method. S-M-A-R-T specific measurable attainable relevant and time sensitive s for specific you want to make this goal of yours very specific get into the details i want you to say exactly how long you want to be running exactly how many times you want to get to the gym really defining your goal is going to be so much better than having a general idea of what you want to accomplish m for measurable just like specific you're adding numbers to that equation let me give you an example. Instead of saying that you wanna run sometime this week, you should say that you wanna run three times for 20 minutes this week, or you wanna go on a walk for four times this week. Really setting these measurable goals that have numbers to them. A, attainable. You wanna make sure that you can actually reach these goals. Don't make them so difficult that you're gonna fail on the way there. Nobody likes to fail, it sucks. By building up and reaching these attainable goals day after day, you will measure up to larger goals and it will feel so good once you get there. For example, if your goal is to run 10 miles but you haven't run in years, well, I'm sorry, but you're probably gonna fail that and you're gonna feel bad about failing. I want you to measure up and slowly build up to these larger goals. Now R for relevant. Do it because it's important to you. Do it because it's a goal that you wanna reach, not because it's a goal someone else wants you to reach. By keeping it important to yourself, it will make sure that you keep motivated on the goal at hand. And finally, T for time limited. Setting a time to reach your goals is gonna keep you motivated to try and meet that deadline. So for example, I had this eight week transformation and I knew I had eight weeks to put in optimum effort to try to win this thing. And finally, for tip number three, setbacks happen. It's always two steps forward and one step back. The very fact that I feel I need to make this video demonstrates that it's not easy. If everyone was easy, everyone would be super fit. That's not how it goes. You strain a muscle, you get really sore, you get injured, something happens where you lose motivation or you just can't work out, and that happens. The most important thing is to recognize they do happen and move forward. A great way to counteract this is to find someone who will keep you accountable and push you when setbacks occur. All right, that's it. That's three tips to keep you on track and keep you committed to this workout routine. Go on the Google machine, find yourself a workout, and start applying these tips to your everyday life. Can't wait to see what happens. Let's go.